Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Well, I seem to have got my mojo back, my craft mojo, which I lost there for a few weeks. It's been fairly busy making a few things this week. I think um, I was inspired by Lama Ma Michaela's um, July Bingo and No Catchy Names um, Christmas in July Cowl or Make Along. They seem to have got me interested in making a few things. So for um, both Lama Ma Michaela's um, Bingo and Crochet Along with No Catchy Name, I made some Christmas spells. They need a bit of spray to stiffen them up. They're just a little crochet thing with a, a bell inside you can hang on your tree. I made a few of those. Um, basically in little scraps of glitter wool I had left over from projects. They've all got a bit of glitter in them. And yeah, I'll spray those and stiffen them up. And this is a one I made too. So... There was that, and then another Christmas decoration is an old Country Women's Association thing we do in Australia. I got some Australian gun nuts that had fallen off the tree, and you spray them gold, put a bit of ribbon. So they were my Christmas decorations I made, or Christmas ornaments, depending on what you wanted to call them. And that was the first thing that got me started. Um, then... Because I'd received all the scrubby that I want needed, that I'd been waiting for from, oh, what are they called? Can't think. Mean Mother's Creations. I made a back scrubby. Yes, it's quite wide and long. And even though it's in pinks, it is for my son because that was the colour I could only get. He said he doesn't really care. He's just going to try it out for me. Now, I used the Red Heart pattern. Um, they have on their website for scrubbies. It's a front post crochet and it gives it a ridge, like a loofah ridge. Um, but I did change it because I didn't like the way they did the handles. I did my handles a bit more solid for a guy, a bit wider and quite long because my youngest son is about six foot three. So that's for him to try out. So if he thinks it's great or needs changing, then I'll make some for Christmas gifts so that was my back scrubby and then for the bingo and for the crochet along or make along I made a Christmas stocking my first ever um, no pattern just sort of worked it from my head not great but not bad gave me a bit of laces and a bell and a bow and a curled up toe um, so yes that's my Christmas stocking um, made out of eight ply scraps that I had. Um, so yeah, another scrap project used up. And then I, um, I, if you remember, I got some premier cotton from Janet Lepre and she suggested a hand towel tutorial from Creative Grandma and I did that. Now Creative Grandma's pattern is really nice and it changes a bit down the bottom in there. See, you can just see that's where she put contrast rows but I didn't really have a suitable cotton to put contrast rows and I just wanted orange anyway and I used a button from my yarn swap last year from Colleen. She sent me some lovely buttons and I thought that really went well. And that turned out really nice. I like that. There is another um, towel pattern on Bag O'Day's crochet site and I think I will have enough cotton to do that one and they're for my kitchen. So that was the next thing I did. I did start the bath mat in t-shirt material. It's not finished. Oh, wow. It's hard going, that stuff. End up with a little blister on my thumb. Um, not sure once I finish this if I'll ever make anything in t-shirt material again, especially this spaghetti yarn from Linkcraft. But when it's finished, I will show it to you. So I'm also doing the Unravel Mitten Square Cowl, and I caught up by doing 11 and 12. So I can't even remember what they're called. That was 11, I think. That's um, a cross-stitch square 
and I'm doing them all in the spotlight um, USA style yarn which is equivalent to what she's using and then that was number 12 I quite like this one this pattern I have thought of doing it for a blanket except it didn't turn out as big as the others I ended up putting more of a board around it than she did but I quite like that there's quite a few of her squares that she's given us to do that I don't mind um, the stitch it's a good way to learn a stitch and I might use them in a blanket pattern um, I believe square 13 is out so I might have to do that next um then i got adventurous i started a blanket which i haven't finished it's whip it was the bag o day peaceful lullaby baby blanket um hashtag 571 and it's the rocky road stitch now i think because i've made two now this is becoming my favorite stitch i don't usually have one but i liked it and i got a big creative for a friend as a gift and I made a tea cozy in this stitch my design I did color control the yarn and this is for a friend I like it because it's really thick the way the stitch works out so it will keep the teapot really warm and she lives where it's really cold I used Ling Crafts I've got about that much left from a cake so that'll be used in another project. Linkraft Cakes. This colour was called... Did I give it a name? Cherry Cake. So it's Cherry Cake. It was a cake. It's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So yeah, wool is good for keeping pots warm, but that will keep the teapot warm. And I quite proud of that I quite like the way it turned out I don't normally um, color control cakes but with a tea cozy it should look the same both sides if possible so yes I made a tea cozy it would be unusual for me not to make one um, I really like that bag of day pattern I'll leave a link in the description below linking to that because I think you should give it a go it works does use a lot of yarn um, but it's really nice and she did release one either today or was it yesterday can't remember which is called shoots and ladders and that looks amazing and I think I'm going to be giving that a go it's like a bobble stitch with some front posts in between check that out because I think that's a, it looked beautiful and it was in my sort of color a mint green I really like that so part of the July bingo is amigurumi. <laughs> I've only probably made one or two in the past. I'm not really good at it because it needs to be tight and I end up having to line mine with pantyhose because I'm always worried the fibre fill is coming out. So I got a little creative. I didn't I I basically followed the shape of an avocado because that was the closest thing I could get to the shape. And I made a dragon fruit. They have like little funny things on the outside. The skin, there's different dragon fruits. I think there's a yellow one, but it's really rare and it's spiky. It's usually red on the outside and sometimes white with these little tiny seeds. Or it can be pink tiny seeds. But I made a dragon fruit and I made him a bit of a character. I'm quite proud of this he was quite tight but me I still lined him with pantyhose um, he may end up on a backpack backpack bag buddy get that out I may put a chain on him and but yes that's dragon fruit mr. dragon fruit so yeah that was my week of crocheting so as you can see, I've been quite busy and I've worked on my blanket, getting close to my end of my 100 days of crocheting for Far North Queensland Cancer Group. We have a meeting this Saturday, so I might do a video after that showing all the blankets I made during the 100 days plus a few other little things. It's a busy weekend for me because that's on Saturday and then on Sunday 
weather permitting, we have our local market and I'm going to have a stall and help fundraise for my little friend Emma. So yes, between now and then, and it's Friday afternoon, I've still got to finish some tea towels for that stall. So there you have it guys, I've been quite busy. I hope you like what you see. If you're a loyal subscriber, thanks for staying with me and following my yarn adventures. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos. You might find something interesting. I always acknowledge patterns and designers, even if I adapt their pattern for something else, because I think that's important to acknowledge that your idea started with someone else's idea and you may have changed it along the way. So until next time, have a crafty day and take care of each other. Bye for now.